Hi, and we're going to look at how to use Lightroom to edit and choose work for a project. And I'm going to use a real-life project. I'm working to prepare work for the Golden Gate Bridge show that's happening at Photo Central. And so I went to my master catalog, which has 46,000 pictures in it, and that's not all of them. And I have gone through, and in a perfect world, all my pictures would be keyworded and in collections already, um, but that wasn't the case, so I've spent a little bit of time finding some pictures of the Golden Gate Bridge I want to consider and giving them a keyword, Golden Gate Bridge. And so I have made a smart collection, and that smart collection says all the keywords which contain golden, and therefore has 453 pictures that I've taken of the Golden Gate Bridge. Remember, to make a smart collection, you want to go to Library, New Smart Collection, and then you can choose your options for creating your smart collection. So I have my smart collection now, and you can see there's a couple things that did happen in this process. One is that I have a lot of duplicates, and that does happen. Someday I want to clean that up out of my library. I have a mixture of infrared and color images and I have to make some choices now. So one thing that I can't do in Smart Collections is reorganize things. Um, so I'm going to stay with my grid and I'm going to get a little bit bigger but I'm going to choose all and I'm going to make this a standard collection because I find standard collections can be a little more flexible. So the Smart Collection I use to grab the pictures as I'm working into the collection and the Smart Collection the regular collection I can use to manipulate. Well, let's wait one more minute. We'll, do, we'll wait a little while. So I know that I have these pictures. I'm going to deselect them. I'm going to make my thumbnails large enough to kind of make some judgments on. And I'm going to go through with the star key and give two stars to anything I want to consider for this show. And so I'll do two and And it will jump to the end for reasons that I can't even imagine. So I'm going to give two, and then I'm going to give this one two, but I know these are duplicates because they have the same file name. And then this isn't actually, it's around the Golden Gate Bridge, but not the Golden Gate Bridge. And they're really, really horrible, so we'll just keep going till I see something and then I don't have to deal with all these duplicates. And I'm going through as quickly as I can. I want to look at that one again. So I'm just giving twos to anything that might be interesting. And a little bit different view of the bridge here with the traffic. Take that one. I have an interesting bendy thing happening here. Let's see what I can do with that. Oh, a picture of my cousin. Well, nice picture. I do want to remember that it's there, but I'm not going to use it for this. So I'm going to give it a blue so I can find it later. Um, I think I should send that to her. Okay, so now I have um, a picture here that's interesting. We're out of the duplicates for a little while. Thank goodness. Another view that might be possible. And then we have some of Fort Point with the bridge. A number with four point. Oh, we have a nice blurry one. Isn't that lovely? Okay. Let me consider that one. Go through. I'm going to look at these later, but not for this project. Hmm. If that's an interesting viewpoint, we'll, make, we'll consider it for later. So anything that has even the slightest interest, we're going to give a two to. So you can see I'm going through relatively quickly using my down arrow to make it move. These are not duplicates. These, I don't think these are duplicates. 
I don't even know because I take so many pictures. So now we're back, and I have not made you look through all my really bad pictures. You just get to see my bad pictures, and I'm down to 42 out of 452 images, um, which is a big improvement. There's no question about that. So I just um, think I just arrowed through them to see where I want to go. Now for this show, I need a maximum of five pictures, and um, for me, five pictures out of five, 450, almost 500. Seems like a reasonable number. I hope I have something that I want to do. Um, and so we're going to keep on going. So the next step is to either go up or down from the two stars to get to a smaller group. Um, I'm still in the Smart Collection. And in fact, what I could do at this point, I, I used my fit library filter to just see my two stars. And I'm going to stay there for now because what that meant is say that I got down to... Um, one of these images where there's a like this one where there's a whole array of pictures like that one then I know that I remember that well all I have to do is go none and I can reload the other options and try to decide exactly which one I'm going to to use um, so I don't want to separate them out quite yet okay so going through what deserves three stars is sort of the question. Um, what do I want to keep in my mix? So I could do three for here. I could see doing something with this, and so maybe I'll get big just to check and see. It's not that special. I've seen a lot of other pictures of this, so um, go back to grid. I'll leave it two stars though. Now this is different. Um, it's something that I haven't seen all the time. There's a there's a kind of playfulness to it, but I don't think it's something I really want to print. So back to grid again. This one I might want to see bigger. Um, and I'm really curious, given what else we're doing, if one of these could be made interesting enough for the show. But it's not, as much as I could see going back there and maybe trying that in a larger thing, it's not what I want to do for this show, so I'm going to keep on going. Um, I'm real curious about this one and this one. Hmm. So I'm going mean, to... I think the bendy one's not necessary. I'm going to give three to each of these. Three to that. Three to that. Hmm. Hmm. This is where I think maybe I need to get my... Um, infrared pictures to not be pink because I'm not going to end up having them pink and so um, this would be go back to my grid um, and instead of this attribute I'm going to go to my metadata and choose all the pictures that are with my D 7000 because those would be all the pictures that are going to be infrared I'm going to choose them all and go to develop and on one of them, I'm going to go to black and white. Back to library. And then make sure it's the most chosen. The most. Then I will synchronize. So now all my infrared pictures are black and white. So, and I can come back here and go back to my two stars. And not have to deal with the, hopefully pretty soon, with the weird colors. looking at this and trying to figure out which ones I want to work with. 
as I mentioned before, this is one where I really do want to take all the different viewpoints into account. So I'm going to go there and do none and C, maybe large. Which one really has the feeling that I want? It's the three star one. Back to my grid, go back to my attribute, and continue. I know with this one there's going to be some focusing issues. I was playing with depth of field, trying to focus on the flowers and get enough of the flowers without throwing the bridge a little bit out of focus. Mm. Mm. Don't know if any of those work. Let's once again go back and open up. See if there's other versions that might be better. Looking at the focus, looking to see what yeah, way out of focus. Hmm. So I think the one I need is the greatest depth of field. I can see this one's at 2.8. This one's at 2.8. This one's at 5.6. There's 11. And there's our 16. I'm going to take the 16, because I like the composition just a touch better. So I'm going to give that one three stars. And go back to my grid, and go back to my attribute, and come back down to where I was. Alright, well let's see how we did in terms of getting it down. We now have 16 pictures to choose from. So you can see how I've worked it down. Now I need to really get to individual pictures and decide, based on the image, what I want to do. Is it a picture that's a keeper? What would I need to do to make it a keeper? And what is my method of working with the image? What tools will I use in Lightroom? And what paper will I go on to in my printing process? So now that I have this smart collection, I would probably take this group and do grid, select all. And then I'd make a collection at this point called Golden Gate Bridge to print. And I'm not going to make any virtual copies. I don't want more copies of anything. But I now I just have my 16 pictures. And they are a regular collection, so I have a lot of flexibility with them. So that's, a, that's it for now. And I hope that helps you sort of think about how to think about your pictures and how to move them forward in the process of editing in Lightroom.